A new poll shows Albertans more than anyone else in the country are feeling the effects of increasing interest rates. And almost half of those surveyed say if rates go up much further, they fear the financial fallout, even bankruptcy. But one Calgary man is bucking that trend. With mounting personal debt, he chose to cut costs by living in his trailer. After four years of cold winters and extreme cost cutting, today he is debt free. Brad McLeod has his story. Jeffrey Westlock locks up his home on wheels because he has a meeting at the bank four years in the making. Now I'm paying off the, the trailer. After that, it'll be, be all mine and I'll be debt free. We followed Westlock through wicked winters and watched his countdown to total debt freedom dwindle to zero months and zero weeks to go. He says he initially racked up the debt when he lived off credit cards for a time after post-secondary school. A couple loans later and he owed nearly $85,000. There it is. With this last payment, Westlock is free and clear now that his last big bill for his trailer is paid off. My best advice would be to, again, you need to know what, what you're spending on what. And he says he now uses cash, not cards. It's easier to budget that way and it gives you the pain of the spend. Because the less you use the bank card, the more money is going to be left in there. Because you could swipe the strike for 500 bucks, $1,000, not a problem. You start counting out 20s for a $500 or a $1,000 bill, you are going to notice that pretty fast. Westlock is not alone when it comes to the financial fight. The average Albertan carries more than $28,000 in non-mortgage consumer debt, the highest in the country. And a new poll from MNP Limited shows four in ten are concerned rising interest rates could move them towards bankruptcy. Mark McCleary with TD Bank says he's seen more people coming in asking for advice since the downturn. One of his biggest tips? You know, it's always good to have about three months put aside of your salary as a safety cushion and then build off that. As for debt-free Jeffrey, he's off to Banff to camp. He says his future is so bright... Brad McLeod, CTV News, Calgary. And Westlock says he isn't done yet. He will stay in his trailer until he has at least two years of living expenses in the bank.